Yo, what's up? Duff here. How you doing? I have been uh, amiss in shooting more content regarding the Superfly full self-driving feature on my Tesla. It was the feature that was given to uh, a lot of Tesla drivers for free all of April. And I did a couple videos early on and I claimed how, it's driving right now by the way, I claimed how much better it was than the full self-driving that I experienced um, since my Tesla ownership. Uh, I started it with a 2019, so I've been a Tesla owner for a while. But it's been, it's been this full self-driving supervised is really, really improved. It improves so much that even though it's now May, I still have it. And you may ask, oh wow, are you paying the $99 a month? They did drop the price of it. It used to be $199 a month for the subscription. They dropped it to 99, which I think is a good move. I think they could have dropped it even more. Now we're coming up to a traffic circle. Let's see how we do here. It's a little cautious in these scenarios, but um, here we go, okay. But it's going, in, and this is another spot up here where I might have to help it. Usually it's overly conservative here. We're doing a right-hand turn out into traffic. Let's see, it'll, it'll stop at the, at the white line, then it will inch up, inch up, inch up, inch up. Like this is slower than, a, than I would do, obviously. Like right now we have a open lane here. If it, picks it up. Are we going to go? No, we're not. All right. I'm going to just go. I'm just going to go. Autopilot disengaged. What happened? Uh, too, too slow to pull out. Okay. We're going to re-engage it here. That's one spot that consistently, um, I usually have to take over just because it just, it's, it's a little too cautious, but in most driving, it has been very, very good, very human-like in its decisions. Really, it has been. So what I want to test today is some features uh, that I tested before, and I've tested one of them before with the uh, new self-driving. Okay, we've got a yellow light. It senses that it's red. It stops me in a nice controlled fashion. Again, feeling human-like. Anyways, what I want to test today is I want to show you the auto park feature. Just in like uh, parking in a parking lot, lot, not parallel parking, but parking in a parking lot. It used to be that that feature only worked early on in full self-driving when you had two cars around the space you want to back into. Now it will back you into any space, it doesn't care. And the other thing I want to test is summoning. Summoning your car. Remember when that came out, it was kind of like a party trick feature. Like in theory, what it's supposed to be is like you can be in a parking lot. Say you're at a shopping center, say it's raining. Say your car is, you know, 100 yards away or whatever. You don't feel like like uh, going out and walking in the rain. With the summon feature, which you initiate through the app, you can have the car come to you. I did a video on this very, very early on after the feature was released, and it was not good. It would, sometimes it would get to you, sometimes it wouldn't. It was extremely slow. So slow that you would never really want to use it in a normal parking lot situation because it would just annoy the hell out of other drivers. Um, so it was not impressive. I'm curious if that is any better now. So we're going to find out together. Um, I'm actually going to be driving towards my work parking lot. It should be empty or more or less empty over the weekend. And as you see, we're just cruising along here. I set the speed five miles an hour over the uh, posted speed limit. And I'm trying to think what else. Oh, full self driving. It has been. It's interesting. Like for the first time today, when you turn into my uh, the the street that leads to my house. There's two left turning lanes. And and the way the way it works, you just saw I got the steering wheel nag. Supposedly that's gonna be taken away in the next version of uh, full self-driving, that they're not gonna have the steering wheel nag anymore. I guess they're just gonna rely on the cabin camera. So that will be kind of interesting. When you turn onto the street that leads to my house, there's two left turn lanes. And to get to my house, you make a left and then you have to make another left within like a quarter mile or so. Probably less than that. So up until today, the car never, the, the, the thing that I would do is if I was getting into the situation and there's two left turn lanes, I would get into the left lane right away to make it easy, right? To make another left. The car would not do that. It would always get in the rightmost uh, left turn lane. And then once we turn, then it would have to figure out a way to merge in to the left lane. And it always was able to do it, but it was a little a little uh, sketchy because depending if there's cars near you, you don't have to slow down a lot, you might have to speed up. I'm doing this all by itself. Um, 
for the first time today, it actually made the decision to get in the left-hand turn lane. The, the leftmost left-hand turn lane, which it hadn't done before. And we have police here. Okay, so let's see. We're going to we're going to be turning into the parking lot here. Let's see how it does. It should do fine. And uh, it's going to disengage here. It's going to say I'm here. And we've got someone on a bike. We're going to just we're going to take over here while he puts us along. Okay, nice empty parking lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, go back here to the back section of the lot. We're going to park the car and then I'm going to walk, I don't know, a couple hundred feet away and let's see how it does. Actually, I lied. I'm going to first show you the parking feature. All right, so I'm going to. There we go. Okay. So I say I want to park in this spot. We're going to start it. Puts a turn signal on for whatever reason. But what it will do is it will get me perfectly centered between those lines, or pretty darn close. There you go. That works much, much fast. Okay, and it's done. We're parked. That works much faster than it used to. Much, much faster. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, stop the camera. I'm going to walk away, and then I'm going to probably film what I'm doing on my side with my phone. I'm going to start the app, I'm going to record it, and then uh, let's, let's see what happens, all right? Okay, so what I'm going to do first time here is I'm going to just walk a few rows over so you can kind of still see me in this GoPro, and um, let's see what happens. I have not tried this, so this is, we're going to be finding out together. That was um, that was pretty close. I had to I had to figure out how to they changed the app around a little bit, how to make it work. Yeah, it got close to me, and it, it definitely it definitely was quicker. It definitely happened much much quicker than it used to be. It didn't get lost like I've had to get lost in the past. None of that. All right, so let's. And, and there, the boundary, I think it said I was 168 feet away. It can't go much further than that because there's like a little circle on the screen that you might be able to see. Uh, you might be able to see uh, on the GoPro footage. All right, so let's try to park again. Let's park another way. Let's see if we can do this better this time. Okay, all right. So I didn't, I could just pick a spot. I'm still in drive. I didn't go into reverse. Just pick that spot to start. Okay, so this is a better test actually. Let's see what it does. Pull forward a little bit. All right. Just put me in reverse automatically. This is the first time, first time I've ever done it this way. I always was in reverse and backing up already, so this is a little different. Okay, it's doing a good job. Again, this is this is slower than a human would would do it, but it's it's far better than it used to be. And you are dead center. And there go some bikers behind us, as you can see. All right, auto park complete, done. All right, I'm gonna do another summon. I'm going to, I'm going to go out that way. Uh, yeah, over maybe tides towards that sidewalk or something and see how the car does coming to me. Now I know how to properly uh, utilize the app to do this.
Okay, the recording. All right, so it looks like the circle, it, it looks like it's 200 feet. Like it, it, I was standing originally like 260 feet and it said you gotta move closer. So I don't know if that's the range or not. Maybe it is. Yeah, that might be the range, 200 feet roughly. It seemed like it was right about 200 feet is where I could come in. So again, it's not like you can park a mile away and have it come, but it uh, did so quickly. Again, it, it wasn't like, it wouldn't it wouldn't have caused other cars to think that there was something funky going on it, it moved relatively quick which is kind of like the way full self-driving is as well and there's little birds that are just hanging out here get lost guys um okay one more test one more test okay one more auto park demonstration how do we do this park park there we go start <laughs> Which space were you picking here? Oh, okay, we're picking this one. And this one actually going up, a, going up a slight. That's interesting. It started and then it it went back again. This one you're going slightly uphill. So maybe that confused it. All right, let's try again. And you're going over a grate as well. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay, there we go. That's good. Got it nice and centered. Okay, so now what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go down this way. So you're not going to see me. I'm going to be down around the corner. So this will kind of be the first time it's like actually on a, a road per se, even though this isn't a busy road. But this is, this is a small road. Obviously, I can only go a couple hundred feet, but I'm going to go down that way. We're good. We're good. It, it observed the yellow line in the middle. It came to me um, at a um, decent, safe speed, but not ridiculously slow, not ridiculously cautious. It worked really well. All right, so not only is, is full self driving on the road better, but summoning is better too. And parking. Parking is better as well. I just realized I never finished my story about how um, how I like full self driving, and it's May, and I'm still driving on full self driving, and the subscription price was dropped to ninety nine dollars from one hundred ninety nine, uh, forty nine ninety five. I, I would probably be a guaranteed buyer of the subscription, but in my case, what I did was I have um, I have or I had and I still have some referral points from people that used my referral code to buy a Tesla. I think they said they ended the referral program end of April. I mean, I'm, my referral link is in the description below. Feel free to use it, even though I don't know if, if it's gonna get me anything or not. But anyways, I had referral points left over. We're blocking off the Walmart parking lot entrance. Interesting. Okay. Okay, for some reason doesn't want me to engage full self-driving yet because I don't have the, yeah, you know, I, I can't do it yet. Okay, that's fine. What I did is I used some of those referral points to purchase two months of full self-driving and um so uh, it didn't cost me anything uh, in real money but i do have full self-driving for an additional two months which will take me through may and june like i said i have some points left over so i might use those to uh, extend it even further because i do like this I, I i do like this feature i don't do that much driving now that i that i live closer to uh, work but it is still nice. It's like it's like if I get coffee in the morning and, and I just I want to enjoy my coffee, drink my coffee, um, let the car drive. Um, if I go out to, to a restaurant and a bar, if I had a drink or two, if I want to be safe, let the car drive. I've done that multiple times. I, I've, it, it performs just as well at night. That's another video I want to do just showing. Even at nighttime, it does a great job. One time I went to a Cos uh, the Costco nearby 
Now, well, it's 10 miles away, nighttime, and came back, and it, it was flawless. I did not have to intervene, intervene a single time. So I've been super, super impressed. Okay, somehow, I'm not quite sure if I did it or what happened, but somehow the car got flipped out of full self-driving uh, supervised mode. It seemed like it was in enhanced autopilot mode. That's why I was seeing the prompts about the way it used to work is like when you would approach a stoplight, it wasn't sure if it should go or not, and you had to hit the accelerator to confirm you would go through. That's the way it was uh, way back when. Um, but I believe, um, I, I, well, I don't believe, but I, somehow it got flipped out of full self-driving mode. We are back in it now. Uh, we should be making a U-turn because I want to test the left turn lane thing uh, into my street again to see what it does this time. I'm trying to think if I've had the car do a U-turn under full self-driving before. I'm not quite sure, but uh, here we go. Let's see how it does U-turning. Okay, go baby go. All right, good. So it's a little, a little slow, not too bad though. Okay, and a nice firm acceleration out of it, getting over to the left lane like we should. There we go. Let's bump our speed up to five over the speed limit. All right. So once again, to explain, there's two left-hand turn lanes here. Uh, the ideal way to do this from a human being's perspective is to get into the leftmost left turn lane. It makes it easier, makes life easier. Let's see what the car does this time be interesting if it decides to do something different. Okay, here we go. It's in the right lane, right lane, right lane. Huh, that's bizarre. It's going to stay in the right lane this time. I wonder what made it go into the left lane last time. Okay, well then you will see this behavior. You will see how the car navigates this situation. Tesla Model S. You know, last night I was on my computer and I was I was looking at uh, Tesla Model S's on Carvana, and enter entertaining the idea of trading my Model Y for a Model S. I didn't do it, but it was it was a fleeting thought. Okay, here we go, making the left. So now it has to check my blind spot, to make sure it can get over. It looks like it can. Got lucky again. So here we go, slide over into that left lane. Got the steering wheel prompt, and then we will be making another left here. Now this can be a little, you know, because it's a left turn arrow, but then the arrow goes off and then you just have to make a left turn when there's no traffic. Obviously there's a big gap here. The car should just roll right through it. It will not stop. It will just go. There you go. Like a human would. And now we're back on my street. And here we are parking in the garage. That's another thing that you can do. You can have your car uh, automatically park itself in the garage and back itself out. I haven't tested that. I mean, I, I don't think there's much to that. I guess I could, uh, but I don't feel like doing it right now. That'll be in a future video. So hopefully you guys found this interesting, right? If you did, uh, think about giving it a big thumbs up. Full self-driving supervised is, it's a, it's, it's an impressive product, at least to me. I've heard a lot of people echo the same sentiments online that they really um, notice and appreciate the differences with this new full self-driving release. It's good. Once I run out of referral points, will I will I um, pay $99 a month? I don't know. I don't know about that. But um, as long as I can get it for free, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep on going. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. I think I said that already. If this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. And if you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. I have I have a bunch of Tesla content on my channel. Just search Tesla and you will see. I have a bunch. Don't do as much as I used to, but I have a bunch on there. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. I hope you're having a great weekend. That's all I have for now. Until next time, Duffman out.